Hey guys, Lamro here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to be doing another guide for you, and it's going to be on Ricked Off the Bold. Yeah, so you pulled him a while ago, and you finally got around to building him. How do you Honestly, like him? He, he, was, he was just sitting as a Vault Lord. I was kind of scared. Like, no one had really used him, and his kit sounds good. So I was like, yeah, let's give him a whirl. Let's, let's try it. Yeah, I didn't realize and... he had an attack all enemies on his A1. Yeah. Then attacks one enemy three times. It each hit places a five percent poison debuff on all enemies for two turns. All right, and then yeah, his... it's uh, good for waves. That's for sure. Yeah, and then his A three attacks one enemy. Critical damage increases by twenty percent for each poison debuff on the target. So paired with Bad L, paired paired with Nethril, he's gonna do a lot of damage. So you have him in. 241 so you can be up to like 341 crit damage which is pretty crazy i i want to get that higher too because yeah. like he hits hard on clan boss hard <laughs> <laughs> so i also have him in straight attack gear so that probably has something to do with it yeah probably so you just have him in a basic clan boss with added master hexer to, to increase his poisons lore of steel swarm smiter um, maybe Arcane Clarity would work as well, but I guess if you're doing a counterattack, you don't want that. I threw him in, I threw him in an, ult, ult, sorry, wow, an unkillable team at one point, so I didn't want Arcane Celerity. I didn't want to screw that up. I literally thought it was called Arcane Clarity. The fact that it's Arcane Celerity is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> it's this whole time you thought it was Clarity? Yeah. That's funny. Okay. Noob. Let's get him into some action. So specifically, Fire Knight is where he is used very well. So you have him in. I, I didn't have an. I didn't even have an aura. So I mean. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm thinking if you could fit Bad L in here somewhere, but it doesn't look like it. All right. Let's see how hard he can hit here. wow so yeah look at all the poisons too yeah so three straight 20k hits basically and then for yeah. his big attack wait he's oh doing... that was just that's just his a1 yeah so like 16k a1 does he use his a3 on auto uh sometimes yeah i don't know why he didn't there to be honest yeah, i'm gonna make sure he uses it then just so we can take a look at it yeah so on this dude here we're gonna go 176k not bad I mean, it's actually huge, though. <laughs> I mean, considering he's not in like savage gear or anything, you could yeah. really get him over two hundred k if you could if you had good savage gear. Oh yeah, for sure. Kind of interesting though that he didn't um, use his A three like on purpose. He might have used yeah, like, it. Yeah, like I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he has used it on waves before. Like I'm ninety five percent sure. Yeah. So and uh, the thing I like about his his poisons too is it's not a percentage. No, it's, it's just... just all about the accuracy you have. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I do like that he has an A1 because you could put him in a stun set as well for faction. Yes, wars. for sure. Oop. He does have some pretty cool animations too. Yeah. he uh, He's definitely, like, it's kind of funny because, like, I was just looking for a Vault Lord too. Like, I just wanted, I just wanted to build one up because, like, why not, right? Yeah. So... He was perfect for it because his kid is awesome. So let's see if this works. Cool heart, heart seeker. Boom. Thank you. There we go. Um, yeah, and he's got the he's got the poisons which fit my team beautifully, and then his giant crit rate. Yeah, you and your <laughs> poisoners. I know. Yeah, that's just his. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to I'm excited to show him for clan boss too. Yeah. Twenty k there. See if he can actually land his big one. All right, let's do this. No, I think he would have landed that if he was booked there. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. He's not booked for this. He's not booked here yet. Where I'm unsure if I want to. Yeah, that was bloodletting, so he should land it now. Yeah, I think so. I think he literally used it the first turn on the boss curse hold. The one sixty four, not bad. Yeah, so he had the max amount of poisons up that he wanted. Mm hmm. So, yeah. 242 with us stopping the battle, and he did basically 
the second most amount of damage besides cold heart yeah i just want to run it again completely full auto and see if he does use that on the waves i do like i i thought it was just he applied one poison to everyone after he no that would, that would just be stupid yeah <laughs> No, that's pretty sweet. If there's ever a new clan boss that has multiple heads that everyone keeps trying to like come up with. The Hydra. Yeah. As they as they say. I mean, it's probably just something that would have been coming out in like the Doom Tower instead. I th I think he will have his uses in the Doom Tower for sure. Yeah. Man, I love Nethril so much. Nethril is someone that's super important for the Doom Tower as well. Like, the wave control you have with him is just insane. Oh, yeah, absolutely. All right, he still hasn't used that. Um, what was it like? Yeah, it's kind of kind of weird. I feel like there's just so many people up that he's like, nah, let me just AoE attack. Yeah. Even though he'll do, like, triple the amount of damage to one person. Watch like, that. just instant nuke them? Yeah. I guess he has a use yeah. on um, Ice Golem as well with his A2. Because his poisons, even if he's not targeting the uh, main boss, he's going to be putting poisons up on him. Yeah. That's fair, because he's not going to be doing the damage to the main boss. Yeah, so we'll toss him in there right after this, and then we'll do him in Clan Boss. Still hit 18k on the shield. Yeah, <laughs> with the shield up on his yeah. uh, main one. I don't think the RNG is going to be on our side. Oh, yes, it is. Look at that. RNG is on our side. All right, and we'll just finish up here, hopefully. Yeah, he... Nethro needs to go again. Nethro, you need to go again. Thank you. Thank you. Man, it's so f fun doing um, Fire Knights when you just keep the shield down the entire time. Yeah, for real. Like, if you had, like, a Lissandra. Mm. 160 there. Easy peasy. No, except now you jinxed it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yep. Oh. Everyone's oh. using them at the wrong time. Yeah. Oh, well. Shield's back down. You're fast enough. Like, this poison's just boom, boom, boom. It's very intimidating. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the few, like, crossbow people that is actually, like, a legendary. Like, you have the famous crossbow man. The, the famous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, crit damage, crit gloves. Yeah, take him. And look at that. He did the most amount of damage there without me manualing it. So. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. As long as the shields are down when he uses his A3, that's where he comes in handy a ton. Alright, so we're going to take Ray out here and just toss him as the nuker. Uh, I was going to say you could probably make Bado. Yeah, but Bado. So oh, well. Ain't nobody got time to be switching things around. Okay, so he uses his A2 first, uh, actually. Yeah, I actually just want to see all these health just get junked down right now. Yeah. With all this. Except they're not going to because they're not going to get a turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nethril's on the team. Like, look at all the poisons. It's so f I wonder how well, like, Eleanor would do on the team as well. Because she just nukes the poisons out? Yeah. Is that... Like, you had, yeah. you need to pull a Zavia so badly. Yeah, Zavia or Eleanor. Because, I mean, don't they do the same thing? Just... I think Ellen Arrow's magic instead of force. Yeah, I think so. All right, perfect timing on Nethril there. I like how every guy just becomes a Nethril like highlight video. Yeah, pretty much. Well, it's hard not to, right? Yeah. <laughs> he is. Uh, oh, he oh, he did he just used his curse hold on that min on that minion. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't kill himself because they did have reflect damage up. Hmm. Last poisons up there. Decrease max HP. So that's if you don't have someone that does uh, block revive, the decrease max HP on his A1 is pretty sweet. Boom, boom, boom. And it's on his A1 too, which could actually be super beneficial right here. Yeah, except I think everyone's going to probably die. Oof. Scary. 
Might, scurry, scurry. <laughs> might have too much damage here. I'm scared. Yeah, I'm a little bit too. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Nethril's definitely dying here. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he survived. Yeah, but he can't be healed. And now he's dead. Yeah. And okay. everyone's frozen except for Mr. Richtoff. Well, the uh, clan boss has seven poisons on him. Clan boss? Yeah, the clan boss, Ice Golem. He... Don't, yeah, don't you know? <laughs> it's uh, funky that he's not using his curse hold either. Yeah, maybe. It's like when things... I don't hate it, though. I don't hate it, because he's decreasing max HP every single time he hits. Yeah. And the thing is with... Um, it, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, with him having a five-turn cooldown, it just feels like it takes forever. Yeah. So I think what we're learning out of this is I need to book him. <laughs> maybe. And game over. That wasn't bad. No. Probably gonna do a ton of damage. I feel like it. I don't know. None of his poisons ticked on the first round. <laughs> That's true. One point eight mil. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You're right. <laughs> All right. Time to show him off. Where you think he's the best? Um, I don't know. After seeing the ice golem run, I don't know what the, I don't know what the best is at this point. But he's really good in clan boss. For and still for not being booked, like if he was booked, it'd be even better. Yeah. Um. So one thing I will say is we could probably t take Vizier out of the teams to actually show off what right. he can do. Ah, uh, true. Okay. Do you need to do anything here, or do you just let it run? You you could just let this one run. Yeah. See if he uses his A three right away now. No, he he'll use the poisons. That's smart, at least. Yeah. His AI does seem to be smart though, because he didn't use his curse hold on the on the minions in Ice Golem, which is nice. And then Two, he saved it. He pretty much saved it after. There. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, I think Doom Priest was a good choice here. Yeah, I do too. All right, so gonna make, make, hit like a truck here. Yeah, we'll just let this run out and see how it goes. Man, like a tour rolled on this team would be insane. Right. All right, coming up to about turn 35 here, and rip goes Mr. Richtoff. And how fast does your team usually die after at this point? I mean, uh, honestly, Sandlash and Chris can go for like a go to like around like 55, 60 by themselves. Yeah, just by themselves. They're they're pretty solid on their own. That's crazy. Well, I mean, they both kind of like just work together, but. It's they survive a lot easier when the other when like Doom Priest and Bad L will die, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. They might just all die at once. We can only hope. Ten mil there, no vizier. Ten mil with no vizier and did absolutely no healing whatsoever. <laughs> this man is built for damage and that's about it. Yeah, and he's very good at it. Those uh those crits that we that were we were hitting with his A three were just unreal though. Yeah, is someone slapping ketchup bottles behind you? No, nope, that is the girlfriend. Slapping ketchup bottles? No, nope, lighting a candle. <laughs> okay. Um, another key place that he's really good at is going to be he's a banner lord, right? Yes. So Banner Lord Crips, he's going to excel at a ton with his poisons, especially at like the later stages as well. I don't even think you've had a chance to use him in it. No, I haven't. I just built him up like yesterday. But yeah, he's a pretty interesting character. You don't really hear often enough. So Clan Boss, definitely a five. He can be your biggest damage dealer, especially on Force Affinity. I'm surprised he's so high in Spider's Den. Well, I mean, Spider's Den is a is spirit affinity, right? So maybe putting all those spy, uh, putting all the poisons on, and then hitting the spider with a big old hit. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna leave that blank for now. Yeah, arena offense not gonna be great unless you can have like Bad L and someone else. But then you gotta be like, like do like Bad L Taurus. Yeah. With like a, sp a super speedy lead, and then. Throw him in. Yeah, but then Xavier just does a better job anyways. Because she nukes yeah, everyone. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, she'll just clean up. 
Dragon Slayer, he's good below level 20. Fire Knight, I think he should be rated a lot higher than that. What is he for Fire Knight there? 3.2. Yeah, what the heck? Force, he at 3.2? Force Keep again. He does poisons against a high armor boss, so he should be rated a lot higher. Ice Golem for Spirit Keep again, poisons, Magic Keep. I, would put him, I think I'd put him higher for, for, for Ice Golem. Five stars. You're yeah, because right. I mean he does the max HP decrease every every A one he uses. Yeah, I'm surprised and... people don't like him. I feel like he's rated very lowly. Well, that's what I mean because he's a vault lord, and people just see what people just see what other people say, and then throw a rating on. Yeah. I feel so. I just want to try him out in Spider Stand. I just don't know if we have the right comp. He would help on Spider Nineteen, actually. If we do something like this. Yeah, just want to try him out in 19 here. So, go down, stuns, throws poisons on everyone, stun everyone. Want we'll to see how hard he's going to hit here? Oh, no, he attacks. Oh, he's just going to use his A1 every time. Yeah. It's a feel bad moment. I know, right? But yeah, if you paired him with like a Zavia, actually with a Nethril as well, I want to see how much he can do here. Nope, you're just going to use your A1. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to do it myself then. Maybe that's why his spider rating was so low. Yeah. Oh, wait, or was spider rating high? No, that's... spider rating was kind of high. Yeah, it was like a 4.0. Okay, maybe that's why his rate is so low because literally it has like six poisons up and he's not using his A3 at all. Yeah. Okay, let's see how much you can do here, though. You can do it yourself? Yeah. I always do just that. I, I always just take it. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I didn't think you were taking enough on it. Only 87k. Oh. That's weird. That is weird. Why is it so low? I feel like that should have been much higher. I do, too. Like, that's even with defense down and everything. Yeah. Strange. All right. Well, we just wanted to try him out. Uh, he would parry very well on Spider, though, with an Elinarl or a uh, Zavia. Zavia for sure. Well, Zavia is weak, actually. Yeah, Zavia is weak affinity for 20. Yeah, but for 19. But though, does that matter? 19 is usually the biggest hurdle that people have. Yeah, it's true. All right. We'll just leave that. In. Yeah, it's fine. All right, well, this has been our Ricked Off the Bold Guide. If you enjoy this content, toss us a like, and if you want to see more, toss us a sub.